Hey, what's up folks, it's Brett, and today we are looking at the Dart Zone Max Tomcat. I reviewed this blaster not long back, and I had some pretty positive things to say about it. It's got good performance, good capacity, a little pricey at 70 USD, but I think a lot of people have really liked this blaster, and many have considered it the best Dart Zone release of 2022. That said, I still had some personal problems with it. Well, maybe not problems, but just things that weren't ideal for me personally. When the cylinder or drum is installed on the Tomcat, you can see that it juts out quite a bit. And when I put my arm out to prime the blaster, well, it does kind of get in the way, so I have to I had a chicken wing pretty far out so that I miss it the entire way on my prime back. Something you can definitely work around, but the modding community said, let's do something about that. And as mentioned in my review video, Bobo Innovation was the first person to kind of take the stab, at least, that I saw at rectifying something that seemed to have a pretty simple solution. Because one of the great things about the Tomcat, and I think it's a similar thing you'll find on the Deuce Pro, you can now just single load a dart. There's nothing stopping you from just loading a dart like so and single firing this blaster. This breach is completely open. And fire. Ta-da! So what can we do with that? Well, Bobo Innovation said, let's make it magazine fed. And lo and behold, that's what we're looking at today, along with a couple other goodies. Now this Talon mag adapter is super simple, but super effective. And as you can see, he sent me two. He sent everything in this box free of charge, but these were the things I was most interested in. I'd heard about these adapters, I'd seen one in person, and I was going to get one for myself, and then he said, hey, what if I send you this? Do you want red with gray, or do you want gray with red? Installing the adapter is super simple. I don't even know if I would consider this a mod. I mean, that's it. And now it's out. And now you can put the cylinder back in. Soop. They only go one way, so it should look about flush with the blaster. If I turn it over like so, it does not jut out on the sides at all. It does protrude a little bit from the bottom, as you can see right there. It's flush with the top, so I think this is as far as it goes. That might be something that can be approved upon, but it doesn't detract from the overall look. And what I love about this too is that even though these are 3D printed parts, because it's pretty much flush inside the blaster, you're never actually hitting it. You hit the shell before you would actually hit this piece. I'm not worried about this thing breaking like I would be if it was jutting out off the side. But that is amazingly simple and I love it. And so what is it advertised to do? Well, it's advertised to then fit with a talon magazine. This is a clear talon with a extender on the bottom. So you just pull it out when you're done. Or if you wanna switch to your cylinder, you just, again, pull the entire thing out. Here's an orange talon with some darts, just to prove it. Oh, somehow I turned the safety on. And now you can see my arm, ah, oh, it's not overextended too much because now the beautiful flushness of the blaster, ah, yes. So let me take that out all completely. Let me show you the other one installed. Easy peasy. And for those who are asking, is it compatible with Dart Zone's half dart magazines? Well, the answer is uh, no. Of course, if you uh, don't care about it falling out of the blaster, just holding it vertically, you could just hold it in place and you can basically close the breach at that point. Yeah. No, it does not lock into place, unfortunately. Likewise, what I have found, this is a green Tachi magazine from Out of Darts. I don't think these are compatible as well. Like it kind of fits into, well, it fits into place and it kind of friction fits until I hold it up and there it goes. It might have something to do with the lips being more defined on talons than Tachi's, as you can see right here. I don't know, there might be something more to it. I just know that you'd have to hold it in place for it to work. And then of course the uh, Dart Zone Pro magazines or the uh, just half dart magazines, the, the lip is in a, completely different spot. So no, those are not gonna work. So I know that might be a slight disappointment for some people, but when it comes to talons, the compatibility is all there. It works great. Another couple things that he included were some replacement foregrips. These are two different versions. One is a Picatinny style rail for aftermarket grips, and one is a version that works with the uh, existing like dart zone style grips. So you just unscrew the foregrip there when you take off the included foregrip, it does give you a little bit of Picatinny real estate there. And this piece is designed to go 
right over that. And now you can use that as your pump grip replacement or you can put another grip on top of that if you just want something that's more particular because the one that's included is again just a little too small for some people's uh, grips of choice. You will have to make sure that it does fit when the grip is all the way in this backwards position because there's not a whole lot of space right here, but it's a nice option if you wanted something that wasn't this. Another piece included in this adapter set was this little guy. It's just a replacement for your follower on a Talon magazine. So it'd go right here and it's supposed to stop uh, you from dry firing when the magazine is out of darts. This is your last dart now and it will not fire. It's just affixed to this plastic piece. So now if I put this into the blaster and try to prime it forward on that last dart, it's not going anywhere and it's not really damaging any part of the magazine because this is a nice, soft and squishy Nerf dart. So basically it gives you a use for your unused Nerf dart heads. The last little piece that I was gifted was this. Two of these little shims. Basically something that's going to fix the wobbliness of the stock because I did note that as another kind of big problem with the Tomcat. Here's your stock. It's a cool looking stock. Wiggle wiggle, lots of wiggle. Gets a lot worse too when you fully extend it. Well, we can take this little shim and we can put it just like that. And we put the stock over it. I suppose you also could put it on the top like so, but I believe the intent is with these little notches that you can put it on the side of the blaster. And now if you slide your stock over like so, you have reduced wiggle. A lot less wobble at this point. Now you've got a stock that may actually be useful, especially if you want to use it in the extended position. I'm not going to say it's completely destroyed any chance of wobbling, but it's a night and day difference compared to not having that little shim inside. It's a nice little option if you want to print that as well. So huge thanks again to Bubbo Innovation for sending these pieces out. I know I'm going to use my Tomcat a lot more in games as a result, and now I have some options on how to use it in a different way that might be even more comfortable than before. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you next time.